Welcome to the World of A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, a 1945 film that unfolds the touching story of a young girl named Francie Nolan and her family's struggles in early 20th century Brooklyn. No need for fancy words, here it's a simple yet powerful tale that resonates with many. As you dive into the details, keep an eye out for some surprising, amusing, and heart-wrenching facts that may have slipped under your radar. Did you know there are lesser-known anecdotes about the making of this movie that might just leave you intrigued? And speaking of characters, which one stole your heart? With the cast delivering memorable performances, it's hard not to have a favorite. Who resonated with you the most? Now, before we wrap up, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, are you ready for a roller coaster of emotions with a tree grows in Brooklyn? Keep watching for those surprising, funny, and heartstring tugging moments. Your stories and memories are waiting to be shared in the comments. In 1945, a film emerged that stole the hearts of audiences across the nation. It's not just any film, it's a tree grows in Brooklyn. Imagine a lively neighborhood in early 20th century Brooklyn, New York. The streets are full of the hopes and dreams of its residents, just like the Nolan family, the main focus of the story. This movie isn't just about one family, though. It's a touching portrayal of the challenges and victories of everyday life set against the backdrop of a changing world. As viewers follow the story, they're taken back to a time when determination and strength were crucial qualities. What makes A Tree Grows in Brooklyn special is its ability to connect with audiences of all ages and backgrounds. Whether you're a young dreamer like Francie Nolan or someone who's faced life's challenges, there's something in this film that speaks to you. But it's not just the characters that make this film stand out. It also reflects the era it was made in a time of significant change and challenges in American society. From the Great Depression to World War II, the movie portrays the struggles of the times while offering hope for a better future. In essence, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is more than just a movie. It's a timeless story of resilience, family, and the strength of the human spirit to overcome adversity. And even now, decades after its release, its message continues to touch audiences worldwide. In his final role on Murder, she wrote, the actor kept his battle with terminal lung cancer a secret. The episode aired after his death, showing how the illness affected his memory and strength. Angela Lansbury supported him during filming. She starred in three movies nominated for an Oscar, The Broadway Melody, here Comes Mr. Jordan and The Bishop's Wife, with the first one winning. In Italy, most of her films had her voice dubbed by Lydia Simonski, including Friendly Persuasion. Dihia Cristiani sometimes dubbed her, especially in the Oscar-winning Gentleman's Agreement, along with Rosetta Calavetta, Rena Morley, and Andrena Pagnani. In 1945, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn was brought to life under the direction of Aaliyah Kazan, marking his directorial debut. Nicholas Ray, who hailed from New York, joined Kazan on this project. Ray's involvement extended beyond a brief appearance in the cast. Although he is credited as a dialogue director, sources suggest he also served as an assistant director and assisted Alfred Newman with the score. Additionally, Joan Blondell, renowned for her roles in 29 Warner's films between 1930 and 1933, regarded her portrayal of Sissy in the film as one of her best. She singled out Aaliyah Kazan as her favorite director. Notably, Joan Blondell was the father-in-law of Cynthia Lindsay. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, released in 1945, holds a place in Hollywood history. Dorothy McGuire took on the role of Katie Nolan after Jean Tierney's departure due to pregnancy. McGuire's portrayal earned her recognition, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. Additionally, she was made an honorary member of the Stuntman's Association of Motion Pictures. These accolades underscore her impact on the film industry. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a 1945 movie that holds significant cultural, historical, and aesthetic value recognized by the Library of Congress. It features June Allison, known for her roles in Gentleman's Agreement and Old Yeller. Notably, Allison became the stepmother of her daughter Ellen Powell after marrying Dick Powell, the ex-husband of Joan Blondell. Following her father's passing, actress Dorothy McGuire pursued education at a convent school in Indianapolis, Indiana. Later, she attended Pine Manor Junior College in Wellesley, Massachusetts, where she served as president of the Drama Club and graduated at 19. June Allison's involvement, alongside the film's recognition, solidifies its place in cinematic history. 
Its themes and performances continue to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless classic. In Daughter of Dr. Jekyll, she really enjoyed her role and felt it was a satisfying experience, while John Agar didn't like his part much. She embraced her role with enthusiasm. Interestingly, she is the ex-sister-in-law of Margaret Hayes, adding an interesting twist to their connection. Winning a Muscle Beach contest was a big moment for her, showing her strength and agility, especially with her impressive feat of 35 inverted handstand dips. Many were amazed at her physical abilities. Despite her successes, it's interesting to note that she didn't like Daughter of Dr. Jekyll, unlike her co-star. Maybe it was a clash of artistic vision or just a matter of personal taste. Anyway, her performance in the film showed her talent and dedication to her craft. Her connection with Margaret Hayes adds another layer to her story, hinting at a web of connections and experiences that shaped her life and career. The Muscle Beach win wasn't just about her physical abilities, but also a sign of her resilience and determination in a competitive world. In her life story, Daughter of Dr. Jekyll might have been just one part, although an important one. But it's her journey from Muscle Beach to the silver screen that truly defines her place in Hollywood history. This story, full of twists and turns, victories and challenges, shows how complex her character was and how rich her experiences were. It's a tale that connects with people, reminding us of the many sides of human life and the different paths we take to follow our dreams. And so, her story continues to inspire generations to come. In the 1945 movie A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, the actor who played Biff Grimes, previously involved with the Pasadena Playhouse and the road company of the front page transitioned from Broadway to Hollywood. He later appeared in films such as Guadalcanal Diary in 1943. Post-departure from his father's brokerage firm, he worked as a lunch wagon salesman, earning $10,000 within three months, only to lose it all in the stock market within four weeks. Like her second husband Dick Powell and acquaintance June Allison, the actress in the movie was a lifelong staunch supporter of the Republican Party. Joan Blondell, known for her role as Aunt Sissy, had a notable scene cut from the final version of the film. Despite its deletion, Blondell considered it her finest work on screen. In the scene, Aunt Sissy encounters a condom and delicately explains its purpose to the Nolan children, opting for compassion over clinical detachment. Director Elia Kazan and Betty Smith, the author of the novel upon which the movie is based, were classmates at Yale School of Drama. Kazan faced resistance in casting James Dunn due to his struggles with alcohol. However, Kazan convinced Daryl F. Zanuck, the producer, arguing that an actor with first-hand experience would bring authenticity to the role of a drunk. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the collaborative efforts and challenges faced during the making of the film.